questions. So we will start with Hussein. And for the rest of you, if you want to speak up, you can raise your hands or I'll just speak randomly. So Hussein, you can speak up. Hussein? A bit, a bit. Okay, you can speak up. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so, uh, to recap, uh, yesterday was, uh, I think, was a better experience from the past weeks for me because I get a chance now to to have a level, like a level field, because blockchains are like new technology. So, uh, like every new, for example, Algorand has a new architecture a new code base like solidity like uh, doesn't matter like solidity anymore so like uh, every time a new blockchain like every time a developer gets into a new blockchain it's like it's like starting from clean slate so for me who like uh, who haven't enjoyed like the rest of the learners the experience with full stack front end back end frameworks so it's like it's like an opportunity for me so I went into the, the developer guide from Algorand, and they're starting to like to what do you call it to promote themselves as the easiest for developers, right? So they have everything. The SDK. There's a uh, uh, a tool called Algo Kit that will create everything for you. The environment, even the GitHub repo, it will do that for you. So I'm starting with that, and so far I have. It has been a it has been a better experience than the previous tasks. Also, I haven't started with the OpenAI generator, but I'm trying to follow the algo kit process so that I have a full stack code base. Then I can plug in that generator part from OpenAI in there. Maybe something in the back end. So so far that's that was my experience. Thank you. Okay, great. So I think there's some progress there. I've heard uh, you saying that you haven't had uh, much progress before on the tasks and just the weekly challenge. So that's good to hear. And uh, next, we will have um, Natnail Bakala and then Radit Kerma. Uh, I'll just speak randomly. Uh, if you want to speak up, you can also raise your hands if you're uh facing any blockers or issues please do uh raise it on the stand up as well so that people uh, will help if not we can uh good. can you guys hear me yes we can good morning good morning brothers and good morning everyone uh so yeah yesterday i was uh, i was working on task one and uh, yeah, it actually works. And I, I happen to have uh, like I got the you know, the the image, the certificate template. And I think the issue is uh, as most of most of uh, our colleagues, and I'm sure most of you guys encountered this issue. Uh, the prompt it's not generating the you know satisfying images. So I don't know, it, it might be because of the copyright issues that exists in the image, in the generated image. It's, uh, uh, it's like, it's not quite right. But I think the point is it works. And uh, after the task describes it, we can, I was able to generate many varieties of, or clones of the original template image and today I'll complete uh, adding the name, the dates dynamically into the these images. So that was what I was working yesterday. I was also reading some things uh, on you know, Web3 and what makes Web3 applications uh, different from Web2 apps. So I was trying to, like I was having conversation with uh, Bart ChatGPT. Uh, to get insights and uh, to make sense of 
what exactly we are going to do this week. So far, so, so far it, it was good. So today my plan is uh, working on the today's deliverable, the interim report. And uh, we are reading more on the, 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 the challenge. And possibly if I can, I, I will, I'm going to install the sandbox, Algorand sandbox. You know, try to see some uh, other projects, other Web3 uh, web apps developed with, with Algorand. So that's the plan for this, uh, like today. That's it, uh, Rodas. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Nathaniel, for the detailed uh, progress report. And also, is there anyone uh, facing the same issues as Nathaniel? If so, you can just uh, show us a thumbs up. And if anyone else have uh, wants to like... Okay, I think. I think it's only not now. Maybe if you just uh, forward it, Ms. Kano. Ms. Kano is also facing the same issue. Anyone else? Okay, Natnail, can you, and also Ikram. Okay, so can you, Natnail, can you uh, post it on the Slack channel so that maybe if Nana can help or any other trainees can help? Yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll post it. Okay, uh, Ikram and Miskano, you can also check uh, the thread under Nathanael's uh, question to me for the solution. Okay, next uh, we will have um, Radit Girma. Radit Girma, you can speak up. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Um, so, on the past days and yesterday, I was trying to understand the uh, the assignment actually the task it was really interesting uh, and trying to understand some basics about blockchain and also the components that we're supposed to do on the to use on the assignment and it was nice but i don't know if it is only me but i was you know there are no mass resources about the components that, you, that we're going to use i mean for example if it is about blockchain there is uh, there are many resources about it Ethereum and other components, but not about Algorand. So it's um, it seems like we're supposed to use the, the only few resources, but effectively. And so uh, I think I have uh, I have understood the task properly, and I was also trying to generate the certificate using the OpenAI. And same as Nathanael mentioned, I like I'm having certificates of not you know they're not what I thought, or they're not really accepting the prompt. Uh, as I want them to understand, but I was able to generate some certificates, and I like I have to do what I thought is better. Um, the other thing is, I've also tried to install to run uh, Algorand in Sandbox, and I was facing some problems. Uh, it seems like the process seems easy everywhere it is. If you have installed Docker properly, it seems like it's easy to install Sandbox, but uh, it was not working for me. I uh, I tried for long t uh, for long period, and I hope I hope if there are another people who had faced the same problem like me, they will try to share me the solution. Uh, so uh, that's what I what I've done on the last days. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Reddit. Uh, and also, I think uh, many of you are uh, facing the same issue. So. If it's possible, we will try to get uh, Fikarta, our prompt engineer, on the stand-up, and then we will uh, we will just figure it out as we go. So, uh, next, uh, we will have a Yerusalem Admasu. You can speak up. Oh, Berhan, we will prioritize people who are raising their hands. So, Berhan, you can speak up, and then Yerusalem, you'll go next. Okay, hello everyone. Um, yesterday was uh, good, a bit of struggle, try to understand a lot of things. Yeah, and, and then there are things that we learn along the process of working on it, I think. But I, I feel like I grasped the basic idea of what um, the apps are and then the blockchain, how it works and things like that. So, and then afterwards I, I was trying to 
do task one, creating an image, so the same as the others, um, facing difficulties in generating those uh, certificates. I generated a lot of images, but none of them get to become fulfilling. Um, so today I'm trying to progress uh, on that and then afterwards writing the um, dynamic contents using CV2. And afterwards that try to do with the, um, which is the sandbox, uh, the algorithm sandbox and then write the report. So that's how my day will be. Uh, thank you for the time. Okay. Thank you so much, Berhan, for volunteering and uh, giving us a detailed uh, progress also. And uh, we will have Fukata at the end of the stand-up uh, today. So uh, you'll just forward your questions then. And uh, she will also have some announcements for us all. And next, we will have Egeir uh, Salim. Egeir Salim Adamasu. You can speak up now. And for the rest of you, you can raise your hands if you want to speak up. Yes, Salim Masu, you can speak up. If not, you can also type. Uh, I have said this before. If you're not able to speak up, please make sure to let us know in the comment section. It's not appropriate to just uh, go silent. So next, we will have Abraham Addis. Hi, team. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, yesterday, I tried to review all the challenge documents and uh, try to get a good understanding of what uh, that has been discussed uh, in the session and also try to uh, create an image uh, but uh, as most of the people mentioned the image that i have created that i have created is not that much satisfying i'm still uh, working on that and for today uh, i hope i will finish this task and progress to the next tasks thank you okay great thank you so much abraham and uh, next, we will have Megadeth Mesfin. Okay, finally, you can speak up. Megadeth, uh, you will go next after Fanuel. So, Fanuel, please go. Hi, everyone. Hi, Robert. I hope you had a good night. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so to recap, yesterday uh, uh, I tried to install Go, uh, Algorand, uh, which was successful for me. But at first, like it was failing, and uh, it's because of internet mostly. And if it is another thing, like there is a logger file inside the folders after you clone it. So you can check that out and figure out what's wrong. But for me, like I, I did it in two tries. So one was failing in some network. So I tried to switch up and use my 4G network and it works with that, but it stopped halfway. And then I tried to switch up to another network and it worked. So it's mostly an internet problem. But if there are other issues, as I said, like you can take a look at the local file. They suggest putting their uh, Git repository also. And uh, for the other thing, I tried to go through task one. And as everyone mentioned, I generated some ridiculous requests, but uh, I think I got some good ones. But one thing that I don't understand is like in the charting document, it says background of the certificate. So I'm not really you know sure about that like is it supposed to generate the text with it or are we just supposed to generate you know the background and write it using OpenGV or any other library so that's one thing that i want to hear that and uh, the blocker that i have is like as i mentioned there are 
you know, limited amount of documentation, so I'm not going to run the tutorial. So that is something that I'm struggling with since there are not a, a lot of information about it. And I think that's all for now. Okay, thank you, Fanoi, for, for the update and uh, for any blockers you mentioned and uh, contents. Uh, please make sure to reach out to me and also the tutors as well uh, so that we can help you. And uh, next, we will have uh, Rodolf. Rodolf, you can speak up. Okay, good morning, everyone. I call you from. Um, okay, so yesterday I went through the documentation. After that, I, I started working on the task one, which is to create a, a generic an image with the uh, open AI and be able to, to generate at the end a, a certificate. So first of all, I, I, I try to generate my first image with the open air to see how we look like and to be able to to properly do the, the task. I mean, to, to add a, a full name, a, a logo and a, and a sum of, of our information. I realized that I need to generate normally a, a, an empty background certificate. So uh, after that, I did it and I managed to generate at the end uh, the certificate with a logo name by combining CV2. Uh, open CV and uh, Python. And actually, I'm I'm struggling to to set up a sandbox. So there is um, where I am, and I'm for today. I'm planning to to set up very well the sandbox and write my my report because today we're gonna submit an Ethereum. Uh, so that is it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Rodolf. Abdul Rahman, uh, you can speak up. Uh, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Okay, good. Uh, yesterday I uh, generated a certi certificate, uh, but it's not perfect. I tried many times changing uh, the prompt the prompt I used, uh, but see, I'm not satisfied about about it. And then I make a variation using the variation code. What makes the thing worse? <laughs> and uh, I'm still working now on uh, the dynamic content using uh, yeah, dynamic content code using CV2, uh, but I uh, I'm not sure about uh, task three. I feel like uh, I don't know how to start. Uh, maybe we'll figure out this today, but I feel kind of lost or uh, I'm not sure about uh, how I can do it. Uh, that is all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abdul Rahman. Uh, I'll just pick someone randomly to just give us a brief explanation on task three. So uh, if you want to volunteer, please do. If not, I'll just uh, pick Ayaya. Uh, Ayaya, can you give us a brief explanation on task three for Abdul Rahman? Sorry, uh, let me just check the document. Uh, I have gone through only task one and setting up the 
uh, documents. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, okay. Task two. Uh, is it task two or task three? It's three. Uh, task three, the front end and back end development, uh, which means uh, we need to use either Flask or Fast API for the uh, back end, uh, which that, that's where we uh, use the algo uh, Python SDK for the implementation of the uh, smart contract. Uh, and uh, the front end that would be React. I'm not. I haven't decided yet to if it's. Uh, I'm gonna use React or uh, Django. So you can you, you can use. I think as uh, Yabi suggested yesterday, uh, it's better to use uh, React uh, for the front end. And uh, the front end has to uh, have uh, some components. Uh, like uh, ad, 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 administrating the the users, uh, which means the trainees, the the the, the staff, and the um, uh, public user, uh, etc. So that's basically what we need to do uh, using the front end and back end for the uh, DAP, and we have to integrate it to the blockchain using the algo run sandbox. And that that's what we need to do. Um, can I report my Thank progress? You, uh... Sure. Okay. Is everything Good. clear, Ab Abderrahman? Yeah, it's make it's make it clear. Okay, if you great. have any addition thing you want to to add, uh, that will be also good. Okay. Yeah. And anyone who wants to help we'll just uh give them the chance as we go on yeah yeah you can give us uh an update on your progress also if you can okay, okay. uh so yesterday um i go through all the uh challenge document and usually i always uh fail to submit the uh, documents in time so the first thing I did was uh, reviewing all the documents that uh, has been shared, and I started uh, writing the report. Uh, I think I almost finished it. And then I was able to uh, instantiate that sandbox and talk to the Algorand uh, using that flow. Uh, that was actually in the, we need to include the uh, exploration of the DAP flow uh, in the report. And I was able to generate the certificate, but as everybody uh, said, it, it, it's not satisfying. Um, it just includes some unknown characters or language characters uh, it, it it give us a background but it's it's not to be for um uh as, as a certificate it's not giving us a good uh, background image to add the uh, dynamic variables like name uh, date etc um regarding the, the front end and back end uh, as i said earlier i haven't decided yet um, uh, I was gonna use Django which I know very well but uh, as Yabi suggested yesterday I might need to uh, develop the front end using uh, react so I will start that one today thank you okay thank you so much Yaya uh, we will make sure to address uh, the blockers related to like uh, prompting in the end. So next we will have uh, Liliana Lehi. Lilian, you can speak up. Hello, can you hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, I was trying to generate the certificates using the OpenAI key we were given. And like most of you say, the images were not that much satisfactory. So I was trying to get the image that I want. Uh, and next, now I'm planning to uh, download and implement Sandbox and the Algorand key. Um, and so far, everything is going great. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you so much for the update, uh, Lilian. And then next, we will have uh, Ikram Kader. Ikram Kader, you can speak up. No, she, she, she's in the library. Okay, next we will have uh, Naon, Naon Lamisa. You can speak up. Okay, I think we, we're almost out of time. So uh, we will just have Fikarta, our prompt engineer, to give us some tips and just uh, on how to do the assignments. So Fikarta, you can speak up. Okay. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear my voice? Okay. Uh, I'm, I saw some people are encountering a much, uh, it's not clearly uh, putting an image, a perfect image for certificate. Uh, that's because you are just asking the model to generate a certificate for NFT or something like that. But in order for the model to understand and generate a better uh, image, you have to be specific. You have to be specific about the background image, coloring, uh, about the logo, the design team, the text details, anything that should be on the image have to be very specific. Do you need it to include colors? Okay, what kind of colors? Uh, is this going? Is this going to need uh, an algorand uh, logo? Then you have to be specific. Uh, what I recommend for you to use is just a plain color because you have to insert uh, a text. So just use plain color uh, another one you should specifically say there should be a space for the text so uh, she she leaves some room for the text and the other thing uh, in the logo you should specifically say make the small logo if it needs to be included make the small logo uh, uh, include a clear background so that you have uh, your content will be visible uh, as much as you can. Uh, don't tell the model to include certificate the wording because uh, I can see that it's the spelling is not correct. So uh, for you to generate a proper image, be as specific as you, you want or you need to be. Uh, if you have any more questions. You can ask me. Okay, Abdulrahman. Uh, sorry, I lost connection for a couple of minutes. Uh, I think you said something important. Can you please repeat it? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just telling them to be as specific as you can for, so that the model clearly understand your request and generate the uh, image you need for the certificate. Uh, if you are struggling so much, you can DM me on Slack. I'll try to help you as much as I can. Uh, another thing I would like to mention is uh, some of you are pushing the OpenAI key to the GitHub. So that's being uh, revoked because it's invalid now. So you have to you have to put it on the env in, uh, in the env file and add it to git ignore. If the if the if this continues we'll have to, I'm not sure what we have to do, but we have to take some major because you cannot keep generating new keys every day. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? 
some acknowledgement would be nice. Uh, okay, if you have uh, any more question about the how to design your prompt, you can ask me now or DM me with DM on Slack later. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, good morning, Fikrita. Uh, <coughs> so basically we need the open ai to generate a, a plain background with a logo right yeah can't we do that on cv2 yeah, can you yeah can, can't we do that cv2 because uh i thought when we say certificate we need uh, some aesthetic backgrounds etc so that we can put the uh, dynamic variables the name the date etc yeah why do we need the open ai to generate just a background image the main purpose of you using the open ai is so you can practice how to prompt it better it's not just about using the open ai to generate the model uh, the image but also so you can practice prompting the model better you okay. understand that, yeah 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 the purpose yes. is not just to create an image but also to communicate better with the model. All right, thank oh, you. We, we were we were trying hard then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's not the, let's not choose the easy way out. All right, Try thank to you. Work through. Okay. If anyone, okay, okay ask. Uh, it's not going to work with a free API key because the image model is within the page API key. Okay. Uh, you are receiving a uh, race limit because you are sending too much. With the name in minutes, you are resending and resending. Just give it uh, import time, then let it sleep for 4 seconds or 10 seconds or 20 seconds, then retry again. Uh, I, uh, last time I showed you how to use generators, decorators uh, to control uh, the retry, right? Use that kind of mechanism to uh, deal with the risk limits. Uh, if you are encountering error using the OpenAI key, I'll generate a new one today. That's that's going to be, uh, I'll replace the general key with the new one. You can use that one, but uh, as much as you can, not, try not to push it to a public uh, platform. It's just understandable, right? Okay, uh, if you need any help, just ask me on Slack. I'll try to, re to help you as much as I can. Back to Rodas. Okay, thank you so much, Fikata. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time and just uh, going through all the questions. And I hope everything is clear for you all. If, can you show me a thumbs up? Okay. Okay, great. That's great. If you're having any other issues, you can reach out to Fikata on Slack, or you can also DM me and I'll make sure to forward, uh, to forward it to our team as well. So uh, we can take uh, one or two more people if you really want to say something or if you want to like speak up. If not, we can just uh, wrap up this session. Okay, I think everyone is good. Okay, then. Uh, thank you so much for being present and just active. Uh, we need more participation. We want you to uh, give us a more detailed uh, progress reports on the daily stand on the daily standups, uh, so that you will uh, so that we can learn from you and you can also uh, resolve any issues you have uh, promptly. So I think that's all. Thank you all so much. We will have our next session after 20 minutes. So I think that's all. Have a good day. Uh, yeah, thank you.